Hey everybody, Jerry here for Android Central, and we've got the Vizio 8-inch HD tablet. Just came in the mail, we wanna take a quick look at it. Uh, first general impression, it feels really solidly built. Was pleasantly surprised. Let's have a look here at the profile. It's not razor thin, but it's not too thick. If I had to wager a guess, I would say somewhere right around a half inch. Uh, we'll make sure we have the specs listed in the post so we can see how close or off my estimates are. Flip her over to the back. Big piece of soft touch plastic coating. It feels really well built, like I said before. There's your little Vizio logo in the center. No camera back here, but uh, that's okay. I'm not gonna knock it for that. I really just think a camera on an 8, 10, 12 inch device is just a bit much on the back. It does, however, have a camera up front. You can see it right there. Uh, you know, for video chat, uh, not built into Google Talk. You know, don't can't say any more than that. It's not there, which it was, but has a front-facing camera for video chat. Let's look at all your ports and controls here. On the bottom, on either on uh, this side, you've got a speaker grill uh, as well as a, a pair at the top. Sound comes out of all of them. I assume that there's more than one speaker in this. We'll verify that and make sure. In the center, you've got USB and HDMI out. Uh, no fooling with MHL adapters or dongles or any of that nonsense. Just plug it in and go. And over here, you have a slot for a micro SD card. One's not included, but it will take up to a 32 gig card. And, uh, you know, it's always good to have more storage. Can't complain about that. Over here on the left side of the tablet, you have absolutely nothing. Feels nice and smooth. Also got a tapered edge. Feels good against the side of your hand. A little aesthetics always are nice. Flipper over here. You've got a volume switch up in the upper right corner. Up is up, down is down. Piece of cake. And up top, you've got two, underneath my fingers there, two speaker grills. Uh, everything here is shiny black on shiny black. I apologize that it's not showing up too well. But trust me, they're there, speaker and speaker. Right there in the center is your power button. And then over here on the corner, and as I said, it's a little difficult to see, right on the corner, there's your three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Uh, okay, we'll have to see how that works out right there on a rounded spot. Might be the greatest thing ever, we'll have to, have to see. Flip this thing over and fire up the software. Uh, the software is different, very different. Uh, you can see we've got a lock screen here. It shows us notifications. I, I've got a Gmail waiting for me. Uh, you know, who knows what it is. Slide the lock screen out of the way. And this does not have a regular home like we're used to in Android. Uh, if you press the home button, it's got back, home, and menu down at the bottom. You get to what we would consider the app drawer. It's customizable. You can choose, you know, what's displayed there at the top between favorites, try to get my finger on it through the camera. You've got games, multimedia, utilities. Uh, let's put it back at favorites because it's the only one that's populated for now. And the rest of it is your apps. Uh, included with the tablet is the Nook software. There's a user guide there. Uh, Universal remote control app. Have to look at that and have to make sure and see how it works with some of the gear we've got out in the living room but not right now. Uh, Google Maps, the market, all the good stuff there. And there's an app here called Widget Board. Now, if we tap that, that's more like what we're used to for Android Home. You've got seven screens and you can put widgets on them. Uh, have a look here. It comes with the stock Android widgets. I installed Elixir to double check on some specs. But other than that, out of the box, it's just got your stock gingerbread widgets, uh, latitude, market, music. You know, we've, we've all seen all those before. There's your clock and calendar. But it's, I don't know, kind of interesting. I don't know how we're gonna like not having a standard home screen and how we're not gonna like it, but we will find out. And as you can see, it's not, it's got a one gigahertz CPU in it. It's, it's okay. It's not a blazing fast screaming machine like we've seen in some phones, uh, but yet it doesn't have that weird, weird lag. I don't know a, a better name for it that we see in Honeycomb. So I have no complaints about you know the, how fluid and how it works. 
Uh, you've also got a status bar up here. You can see your notifications. Close back to get out of there. Let's go back to the home screen because we want to look at the settings. And yeah, that's going to be weird to call the app drawer the home screen, but we'll get used to it. Uh, what we got here? We've got Android 2.3.2. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't, you know, come with even the latest version of Gingerbread, but I'm not going to judge until we actually use it. It might turn out well. We've been pleased with uh, Gingerbread on some other tablet-style devices before, and this could very well be the same thing. Uh, the software version, they're calling this uh, VIA+, Plus, and this is version 1.1. Uh, the rest is pretty standard. There's your kernel version, hardware, U-boot, build number. Nothing really outrageous there. The rest of your settings are, you know, like we've seen on other Android devices. Uh, you can enable location. It does have a GPS uh, unit inside. Allows you to use GPS for location. Can't think of uh, anything else. SD card and storage. Uh, no SD card in it. Internal storage, and this is app storage. Uh, below the internal storage for pictures and media uh, 2.4 gigs haven't installed any on here yet app storage 677 megabytes I've only installed one app so we'll have to see how that's going to work out uh, I'm sure a lot of stuff can go to the SD card we'll make it okay but it is what it is and we're not going to complain until we give it a fair shake also here on, I guess, the home app drawer, home kind of thingy, you've got shortcuts across the bottom for the browser, market, email, gallery, music. Interestingly enough, uh, the new market came on this device. Uh, first time I fired it up, told me to accept some user things, and it was the new market. First time I've seen that, uh, I've had the new market pushed out to the phones I have here, but uh, this is the first time I've ever turned one on out of the box and it had it. Don't know if that was intentional or just a lucky mistake, but it's got the new market on it. Uh, the rest of the stuff is what we're used to, but we're still going to give this thing a good once over and see how it does everything. Uh, you know, we want to check out the usual suspects, Netflix, movies, uh, all sorts of media, and you know, office editing. See what we can do with it, and we'll let you know. Look for a few a full review soon. In the meantime, I'm out of here. You guys have a good one.